Yair Rodriguez is the real deal. Just two and a half years into his UFC career, a 24-year-old Mexican phenom is already being compared to some of the most spectacular strikers to ever enter the octagon. My goodness. Possessing extraordinary athleticism, uncanny timing, and fearless creativity, Yair Rodriguez has produced a sizzling highlight reel as he's rocketed up the ranks of the UFC's stacked featherweight division with six straight wins. An ascent that the native of Peril, Mexico, an old silver mining town 338 miles south of El Paso, Texas, attributes to values instilled into him from his earliest days. And my family, we are five. My dad and my mom, my little sister, my brother and I. We grow up in the woods, in the mountains. And my father, he always teach me how to work since I was a kid. How to take care of animals, how to feed them riding horses or taking care of sheep in the woods and how to take care of plants, how to grow them. And working with my father, he never looked up to people, but he never looked down to people either. You know, he teach me, be humble. Spurred on by his parents, Rodriguez began his martial arts training at just age five. I remember that I always had problems with teachers in school and they say, you, your son has a lot of energy and you have to take that away from him because it will, it will be bad for him. So they put me on Taekwondo. A natural born competitor, Rodriguez had found his calling and soon added kickboxing, boxing, and judo to his repertoire en route to hundreds of amateur fights in various disciplines. At age 18, the mixed martial artist turned pro and just four thrilling wins later, he was invited to compete on the Ultimate Fighter Latin America. Yo peleo para mi familia, peleo para mis amigos. Y peleo por mi país, por eso salgo con la bandera, eh, con orgullo. When I get into the Ultimate Fighter House, my mom gave me some letters. She told me, don't open it until, you know, whenever you feel like you're weak, whenever you feel like things are not going well, just read it. And she was basically telling me, go for your dreams, no, don't let nobody stop you. You know you are unique, you know you're special. She was just making me cry in there, you know, but then you think, oh, he's crying, he's weak. No, no way. My mom was making me stronger. Rodriguez. Rodriguez stopped both of his opponents cold on the ultimate fighter to earn a shot at becoming the season's featherweight victor. Here we go! At UFC 180, the first ever event in Mexico. Whoever wins this fight must have a bright future in MMA. Oh! with the victory. A feat he achieved in front of his family and over 21,000 fans. Thank you very much to, to all the people in Chicago to help me. Your winner, congratulations. Rodriguez's gratitude for his Chicago-based coaches gave way to his relocation as he temporarily left his family in Mexico behind in exchange for a new one on the shores of Lake Michigan, a move that was motivated by wanting to continue to hone his remarkable talent alongside a coach who he bonded with while training for the ultimate fighter. He made the hardest decision because it's hard, man. The lifestyle, the culture, and everybody knows that. The winters here are brutal. But he came, he closed his eyes and said, okay, let's go and do it. <laughs> all my family and all the people around me, they are really, really happy that I have Coach Mike in my life. He's always been there since the beginning. He is the one behind all this stuff. He's like my mentor because he's been through a lot of rough times on his life. We're very similar in a lot of ways, especially in our upbringing. I understand perfectly how his dad could think or how Mexican people think. Because I was raised in, in that environment. So it's a very good connection that we have there. It just comes easy. Something that he always told me, you will find adversity everywhere you go. Basically, it's the same mentality that my father has. You're going to stop? You're going to quit? Because it's too hard? Once you, you accept the dream pick you, you don't pick your dream. You gotta take what it comes with. Thus far, Rodriguez's time inside the octagon has played out the way he dreamed, with six straight wins, including two fight of the night victories and two performance of the night awards. The most recent coming against UFC Hall of Famer, BJ Penn. Down goes Penn! 
a triumph that affirmed Rodriguez's belief that 2017 will be his year. Rodriguez has done it! I'm hungry. I have all the talent in the world. I put all my energy and my effort on this sport and it's the only thing that I do and I do it well. Why if other people can achieve their dreams, I don't see why I can't. What makes him confident is just his vision. He already put it in his mind that he's gonna be a world champion. And I don't see how they could stop it. Nothing has to stop you, you know, you just keep on moving forward. So you stop complaining about it, just do something about it. Be thankful for what you have, be always humble, and you wanna do something, do it well, or don't do it at all. Champion 2017, this year. I'm, I'm not here for less than that.